So what what are we what I want to do explain to you right now a little bit the practice of mindful multitasking. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of spiritual advisors out there. There's a lot of information. I, I'm com I'm coming at you like with confidence, with trust. I'm not gonna say, oh, breathe in and tell yourself in and breathe out. I'm if if you're if. You know, if you're in, I'm not, I'm not gonna kid you, baby you around here. We're, you should be doing the, that simple stuff. We're doing that on your own. So what we're doing here is, <laughs> it was a long hike. <laughs> so really, I mean, in our society, in our lives, it is really difficult. It is a difficult thing to stay 100% with one it's it's impossible really we've developed a society that has required us to multitask our jobs our lives our families our houses our materials this is what we developed I mean we're gonna be giving them up as we realize which things in life are actually the most important to us we're gonna slowly you know settle things that's what I'm helping you do that's what I'm doing with myself I'm settling the dust, you know, that so much, so much is in, so much is in life, so many things, relationships, jobs, uh, materials, cars, houses, furniture, and you can get so distracted until you, until you really start mindfully experiencing each one of these things. And when you experience this with a full awareness, with the fullness of your, with your existence, with your with your essence and you experience you start you start experiencing them one at a time we start with breath that's the first thing they, they teach you okay you can do that you can't do that practice because everybody can do it it's breathing and <laughs> it's really I, you can breathe so don't tell yourself you can't just tell yourself I need more time I need more practice and I'm just going to practice more and then I'm going to do it and then you're going to do it. That's all it takes. Uh, it's, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say there's some magic. It's just practice and confidence in yourself. So you're doing that. You, you have your own practice. You're developing your own ways of doing things, your own ways of, of evolving. But you still need to be multitasking at work. You still need to be cooking and watching your, your kids or cooking and planning, you, you still need to be multitasking in the home. You still need to be driving and how many things are, are where, but can you, can we do these things with 100% of ourselves? Can we split ourselves into 300%? Can you do this, this, this with 100% with full awareness? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. You, what, what does it take? Practice. Practice in confidence. Tell yourself, I am going to be fully aware while I'm talking on the phone, cooking dinner, and watching my baby. I am not going to let one of them have less meaning and less experience existence than any of the others. I'm not going to judge. If I am doing it, I am going to experience it with 100% of my person. I am going to be fully present in all of my experiences. And you're going to put yourself there. Not, in, not at first, not at first, but you're going to practice. And you're going to train yourself. And you're going to, you're going to practice with simple things first. This is what I'm, I'm doing simple things right now. So just patience, practice, confidence. All it takes. You can have the life of your dreams. You can have the life you want that it's you you can be so happy and so powerful and have so much energy it, I don't even see age I don't even believe in age anymore every day I wake up feeling young I'm I'm young but I wake up feeling younger I had almost destroyed myself today I'm a day younger tomorrow I'm I'm even I have even more life left tomorrow even all I have is hope, optimism, and patience. And, yeah. Anyway, 
simple practice, what I do, what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a little more advanced. This is basically what I do the, with a piece of fruit. I like fruit. I also like ice cream. I do this with ice cream, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like ice cream. <laughs> so take your ice cream, take your fruit, take your, what, a small, a snack item, and go out in the street, go out in the woods, and, and breathe, you have your snack item. You breathe, you get yourself mindful, get yourself present, get yourself in the moment. What are you smelling? What kind of flowers? What kind of bakery goods? What kind of auto smells? What kind of people smells? Breathe, smell, breathe, smell. Hear, what kind of sounds? Are there birds? Are there trucks? Are there, are there school children? What are, you, what are you hearing? Breathe, smell, hear, taste, and begin walking. And remember to remind yourself what you're actually doing at first, because at first you're gonna see something and that's gonna take more of your presence, more of your, per you're gonna see an argument in the street, for example, or maybe a good looking woman or a fancy car. What does that do? It triggers something in your head and all of a sudden the other experiences, the other things that are happening in the world have less importance. You don't smell that smell you were smelling before because you're focused on that car, you're focused on that woman. That's not what we're doing here. We're, we're staying present. We're staying aware of everything. And we're building our awareness. We're building our senses. We're building our abilities. And so more and more, you want to put more and more stimulation, more and more things to be aware of. But patience, confidence, tell yourself, Today I was distracted 15 times in a half hour walk. That's okay because that was a half hour of, of good practice. Tomorrow I'm gonna be distracted 14 times. I have confidence that I am growing. I have confidence in my path. And I feel, I feel great to be doing what I, what I do. So mindful multitasking, just Remember, remember basic, the basic element is you don't want to, this is your experience, everything. Not this one flower. Thank you, flower, bless you. Not this one flower, beautiful smell. Not this one flower. There's purple, there's yellow, there's brown, there's white, there's there's, chick, chick, chick. <laughs> there's, roar, roar, roar. there's dogs, there's birds, there's everything in your experience. There's me, I'm talking right now, while I'm listening, while I'm feeling, my feet are wet, one foot's cramping a little, my back is still straight, I'm staying maintained in posture and energy. A little bit cold up my spine because I was actually now focusing on that. So let's just keep it present with everything. Even while I'm talking with you, I'm still focusing on smells, sounds, still being present, aware, without having to really, well, whatever. You get the point. You get the point. Don't give, I mean, unless, I mean, honestly, there's experiences that you want to shut off other things for and bam, put yourself there. But... When you're, when you're going through the grind, you don't want to just go through the grind. You still want to be living. You, you don't want to be cooking, talking on the phone with the TV on. You don't want to just go through time. No. You want to be living every moment. You want to be here every second of your life. You, want, you don't want to miss this because when you miss it, you die. You're dying. When you're living, you're building life. It's, it's anti-aging, it's rejuvenation. We die because of our lack of awareness, because of our lack of years, 100 whatever, unless I choose to die before that. But I mean, it, it's such a false concept we have of age and time. So I'm, I'm going off the, off the wall here. Remember the point of this multitasking with mindfulness, stay, Try to just keep it in, in the back here. Keep it, keep it there in, in some part of your consciousness. 